hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i am taking examples on fourier transform in the previous video i have taught about the formulas related to fourier transform which is very important so i have left the link in the description below please go back and check to those videos and so now let's start over here now this is the question such type of questions are given in the exams now if you look to this carefully you will see that this is the formula of fst so means they have given over here it is fs lambda is what they've given over here fst so uh, they this is the value of fst uh, this is the first value and this is the second value and they've given the limits over here for the corresponding values and they are uh, what they're telling us to is to find the inverse that is we have to find f of x or they're telling us to find ifst that is the inverse fourier sine transform for f of x uh, for f of x that is the inverse Fourier sine transform the formula is 2 upon pi integration of 0 to infinity uh, fs lambda into sine lambda x d lambda so uh, this is the formula for finding f of x or the inverse Fourier sine transform so now in place of this we have to put these values because the uh, fs lambda is are these values so now uh, there are two values this is the first one and this is the second one so we have to add both of them 2 upon pi we'll keep it outside common 2 upon pi and inside integration of limits they have given 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 uh, 1 minus lambda is the first value we have written into sine lambda x d lambda plus integration of they have given it's greater than 1 means it is 1 to infinity uh, 0 into sine lambda x d lambda so now uh, 0 into sine will become 0 so this entire part will get uh, cancelled so what remains is 2 upon pi into integration of 0 to 1 1 minus lambda into sine lambda x d lambda so now this is the formula uh, for this i have given one formula lebanese so that is like u into v rule in the previous uh, video i have explained about this rule so uh, this is the lebanese rule in the lebanese rule u should be algebra uh, u should be algebraic term v should be trigonometric term and then uh, the integration of a u into v will be u into v integration minus u derivative into v double integration plus u double derivative into v triple integration and so on and so forth so basically this is the formula so now let's put this uh, in the formula this 2 upon pi will keep it outside and uh, now this is the term uh, algebraic term that is a and this is the trigonometric term that is t so this will be u and this will be v so let's start then uh, what we do is we write u as it is that is 1 minus lambda into we write the integration of v that is integration of sine lambda x will be uh, minus cos lambda x upon x because it is with respect to lambda so x will be the denominator if it was with respect to x then uh, lambda would be the denominator then it is minus uh, in derivative of u now derivative of this will be derivative of 1 is 0 mi then minus 0 minus derivative of lambda will be 1 into double integration of sine uh, lambda x is single integration is minus cos lambda x so double integration will be sine lambda x minus sine lambda x upon x square so and the limits are 0 to 1 now what we have to do is we have to simplify this 2 upon pi uh, then minus 1 minus lambda into cos lambda x upon x minus 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 1 and minus sign will become plus therefore 1 therefore sine lambda x upon x square 0 to 1 this is the remaining now we have to put limits 1 and 0 so as usual it is upper limit minus lower limit so first we'll put the upper limit that is the 1 2 upon pi into 
will put one in the place of lambda because this is with respect of lambda. So minus one minus one cos one x upon x minus sine one x upon x square minus. Now the lower limit. Lower limit is zero. Now in the place of lambda, we have to put zero. Minus one minus zero into cos zero x upon x minus sine lambda. Sorry, sine zero x upon x square. Now the limits are being put, and two upon pi is outside. So now one minus one is zero. So therefore, zero into cos this entire term becomes zero. Now, two upon pi we keep it outside. We have minus sine one x. So the sine one x is sine into one will be sine x. So this becomes minus sine x upon x square minus. Now this part one minus zero is one. So minus one into cos is Uh, cos zero is always one, so therefore this will become minus one into cos zero is one upon x minus sine zero is always zero. Therefore this entire term will become zero. So this is what is remaining. Now two upon pi we keep minus sine x upon x square. uh then we have uh minus and minus becomes plus therefore it is 1 upon x so now this is uh, f of x that is the if st so this is the final answer thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos thank you